Okay, Jay, if you won the lottery, what would you do? I don't know. You don't get all the money. Yeah, that's your answer. I go to McDonald's every day, baby. Nobody knows about this till now. Oh, Here comes the tea. Oh, tea. So we went on an excursion in <gasps> the Grand Cayman. This Cayman's, is recent. And we were in a in a submarine ride, so we were oh, all. Tea. Little... Hi guys, welcome back to Bye. my YouTube family. Today we're going to build towers out of cards. So this is who could build the tallest tower q and I'm going to be asking questions and they're going to answer while building the tower. Once my questions are done, then whoever has the tallest tower wins. Who has experience here building towers? Me. I've actually got a lot of experience, remember? Oh, you did make a giant tower. I already got one layer. I forgot a lot. So go ahead and start building your tower of the deck of cards. Don't try to bump the table or go crush everybody's. All right, so we're going to ask questions and every single player is going to answer every single question. So we're going to start with Jake and we'll What's go around up? the table. Jake, this is about your siblings. So David, you'll be doing it about one of your children. What is your best childhood memory of your sibling? The tote full of lizards. What? You, you were not even a part of that. Yes. I went and grabbed the little planet things that had the, all those black things on it. I do not remember this. Aww. I thought this was like, oh, I thought this was a me and Jordan memory. I didn't know that you also. Do I remember <laughs> Mud pies? you adopting okay, fine. my child? I, I'll do another one. Mud pies. I know I was at least a part of that. Mud pies folded. What is your best childhood memory of your sibling? But you're basically doing it for your of children. Of my children? So I think probably the very first time we went to Bush Gardens, everybody was like super excited. We rode the rides, we played with the animals, we went to the plays, and we all nominated Bush Gardens in Tampa like the best park. We get yearly we passes too. Yeah, well, the, the cool thing is you buy one and you can go the whole year. For a Florida residents. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not for Adam. So it was really cool. That was really fun. Okay, Audrey. I think Jake adopted my childhood memory because <laughs> I, I have always said lizards and frogs, catching lizards and frogs. <laughs> I don't remember Sorry. Jake catching lizards and frogs. <laughs> oh, I just dropped he the car. Did. He Maybe did. you did, but you were really was, little. You would have been little helping. Where would he have been? He'd been right by you guys. I know, Jake. We did with our neighbors, too. He probably wasn't there when your neighbors were there. Okay, Ty. I don't got any of their memories that they got, That's but... That's okay. You got to have memory of a sibling. When me and Jake, uh, kind of in the old van, when it was like this little compartment full of change, we kind of got like grocery bags and started filling out the grocery bags of change. Wait, what? True. They went on a little kick where they were trying to find money around the house and then the vehicles and they took all of it, whatever they could find. Even like my money jar that's by my laundry. And Jake <laughs> still takes money from the laundry room. Jake! It's an everybody thing. <laughs> it's okay because he buys us fast food when I we do. don't want to go. <laughs> Who of your siblings have the messiest room? Me. Ty. You make tie? Okay. Who has the messiest room? Me. Jeez. Ty. Audrey? Either me or Jake. Right now Jordan's closet's pretty bad. <laughs> I can't walk in Jordan's closet. Jordan's closet awesome. has a whole bunch of things that My she's stored falling over the years doing that something. she's used. She's storing in her closet so that when she moves out, she has her, she got a vacuum, she has like yeah, closet so she has pans, a lot of, and so she has a lot of things in there that are just all over. I think we're all about the same with our cleanliness. Why? I'd actually I say feel... Jordan's the most clean out of all of you, except for her closet's trash right now. <laughs> <laughs> but normally she is. She's so far, <clears throat> I okay. think I'm doing the best. Ty, who do you think's the messiest? Me or Jake? Wait, okay. it has to be a sibling, okay. so it's me. Yeah, because Jake, in the night, the covers go flying. Like, when he sleeps, he's a tornado. Have you ever been in a physical fight? What do you mean by that? <laughs> fist yeah. to fist. To be fought physically. Every Push week, baby! Yeah, Every with week! Ty. Like, you pushed and shoved with Ty? Yeah. David, have you been in a physical fight ever? With my kids? No. No, with anybody. <laughs> no, you don't do this. Only when I say siblings. So okay. With any, like, oh. Jesus collapsed again. Man, I'm just on two layers. So, 
Okay, yeah, there's a little story to it. It's kind of a fight. Dominoes! So I'd never really been in a fight before, and I was riding home on the We're school bus. Different way. Oh. And my, one of my best friends kind of got into a verbal fight with another kid, and I got in the middle of it. I don't know why, but I thought maybe I had more to say than my friend did. And so we got off the bus, the bus driver left, and me and my two buddies were there against this one kid. So there's three, three, three on one. And I started talking more trash than my friend was and that kid finally got fed up with it and he turned and hit me in the cheek like in my jaw and I had a loose tooth and he popped it and so it started bleeding and it so like it looked like scene. it was really bad right but the tooth was already loose and it didn't really hurt that bad I mean it kind of it kind of hurt but not that bad, That's but I started daddy. bleeding. I was like, oh. And so when my friends and I saw that, we all jumped on him. Aww. And as soon as we jumped on him though, somebody pulled over and broke us all up. And so I, yeah, that was like the extent fight. of my fight. We never actually even physically hit the other kid yeah. because we just jumped on him and the Good Samaritan came by and stopped it. And so and it really it wasn't a fight, but it kind of was. Because the three on one or four Yeah, I know, it wouldn't have been fair. fair. But that was like, that was my extent of ever having a fight. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Look at my tower. This fight for now until it falls. I know, it's fair. <laughs> um, every week, baby. You've had- I punch and kick every day. week. No, like, like real. Like, not talking about to karate. No, I don't think I'm ever- No, I haven't ever. It's not as prevalent that girls, like, choose tough fights, but no. it does happen. Yeah. Okay, Ty. You've been in a fight with Atlas. Not with Jake? Oh. Adam. Jake threw you on her. Yeah, I, I, I fought against Jake, but mostly against Atlas and his boxing skills. Did Ty, Spencer, especially when you did, were a baby. Did Spencer kick you? <laughs> Punch ya. <laughs> like last night? <laughs> in karate. Got a big old bruise. Okay, you got it in karate. Okay, Jake. If you won the lottery, what would you do? I don't know. You want to get all the money? That's your answer. You I go to know. McDonald's every day, baby. You'd You'd buy buy how much? How Sorry, much are we talking about? You'd have to have a lot. Probably Let's like see. three, four hundred million dollars. One more like More money than you could ever spend. Investments. More money than you could ever spend. Yep. Actually, David. I would be forced to move out in the middle of nowhere and buy a plot of land and put a cabin on it with oh, Katie. Oh, thank you. I'd be forced to. Because I know that's exactly. where she would be going. She's like, see ya. Uh, not only that, all relatives are welcome on that land. Not at all. They just can't be within <laughs> view. Like, I don't want to see them. All right, we got to get a big it piece of land then. A big piece of land, but <laughs> I don't Lots wanna, of timber. Yeah, I just want to stare out and see neighbors. I don't want to see neighbors. I want to see nature. So, but all family would be welcome. I think I would. I would save a lot of it, Honestly, and then I would spend the rest on traveling. I can do it, travel the world. Ty, what would you do if you won the lottery? I'd probably try to save it. <laughs> I think I would. Like, like, save it? Yeah. Jace was making a train of cars. Ty, and get, I'm making like, a circle. A house, like a yeah, house where, arena. Like in thing. Hawaii. A oh, house you get a house Hawaii. in Hawaii. We're like in a tropical yeah. place. Yes, you and Jordan would probably move. Tropical. Yes. Ty, what's the tallest deck of card tower you've built? Wasn't that like 13 or something? It was something in the double digits. I really like how? 15? He has built a very tall It was up to here. The tower. We, did, we did it for a brand deal video. It was that robot yeah, thing that went through. Remember we built it? It was like this tall no, from the it ground. Wasn't that. He did one on our vacation in Virginia when you were in the house. Well, here at the house, we built one downstairs that was about this did tall. Did we glue them? We didn't glue them. Did we do cheats? We I may have had a little bit of tape that held okay. the bottom from sliding up. Well, Ty but. did it literally like this. He Legit. Went to the tower because he practiced because we had nothing else to do at the cabin. We had nothing else to do. And these Uno cards aren't even the best for these. Well, it's all the cards I have. <laughs> Jake, <laughs> if <laughs> you were offered to become a superhero, what would your power be? To grant other superpowers or shapeshift reality or something. He's I don't know. Shapeshift reality? Wow. Yeah. Hey, David. I'd be invisible because then I would be able to like eavesdrop on like top secret government conversations. Wow. So you'd be and... hunted down. <laughs> but I could wow. shape reality. I'd be the best. I'd be the best spy ever. Oh yeah, I'd go to Area 51 to see if like aliens Uncover really do exist. All secrets in the world. I would go to Fort Knox to see if there's actually any gold left there. Sit in on the I would sit in the Oval Office and try to interpret what Joe Biden says. <laughs> I would. <laughs> I would, I don't know, I think it would be really fun. You could go, you could do so many things if you were invisible. Oh, oh to me, what's your super You bad. like my tower? It's it a is, house. It's looking good. I like it, the architecture of it. Um, I always want, I always said I wanted to read people's minds, but now I don't know if I want that anymore. <laughs> Audrey. You'd I think I want to teleport. Because well, then, 
You don't have to write in line. Yeah. Freezing time. Just, you have to write in an airplane. You yeah, you don't have to write. There. Just be wherever you want. You Audrey. waste no time. That's true. Shaping reality. You could be anywhere. You could do anything. That just sounds scary. Shape shifting reality or whatever. I can't mess it up somehow. Um, I would either be. You could literally give yourself all the powers. Telekinesis or time stop. Like you stop going. Oh, that'd be good. Can you impersonate someone famous? No. No. <laughs> Can I impersonate someone famous? If I had my Let's superpower, see. I could. How about this? <laughs> I do not recall having no. any time in the Already Oval Office with anybody. No <laughs> <sighs> or, how about this? It's beautiful. It's the most... Donald Trump? <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Okay, Audrey. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're trying to do... <laughs> oh. How does he do it? How so about good? this? That's the best. Are you trying to Donald Duck? Oh, there's rumbling in my tummy. I want a pot of honey. Honey the pale. Oh my. Or a gorge. Okay, David obviously can impersonate. Ty, can you impersonate? Uh huh. Jake's getting frustrated. He's like, no more questions. No! That's Dad, you coughed and put it down! <laughs> oh my word. Who do you usually blame your farts on? Dogs. <laughs> Alice? He, he told me this. Yeah. Who did you Tyson answered for me. The dogs. The dogs. The dogs. David, who do you blame your farts on? The person sitting closest to me. Audrey? Probably the same. The person closest to <laughs> you? It's always me. Whoever's in the car is the easiest to blame. They, they always pick on me. <laughs> Ty, it's so it's annoying. Most you push your or the literal ass. I, I, because the right I, always, week. I blame it on the person who farts last. So it seems like they did. Jacob, speaking of farts, where's the most awkward place you farted in? <laughs> elevator. In an elevator? That's what uh, you mean. And it was... Okay, Jake. Jake. Jake would bomb us Jacob, all the that time. Jacob, that car ride. Cars. That car ride. While we travel. Juicy fruit. Jake was. Juicy. Jake's the worst farter when companies around. Like he's proud of it. He's <laughs> so nobody knows about this till now. <gasps> Here comes the tea. Uh, so we went on an excursion in <gasps> the Grand Cayman, and we were in a in a submarine ride. So we were all <gasps> in the submarine. Right here. Right here. There's nowhere to hide. Because you don't get new oh, air in a submarine. No you fresh did. air. There was like 20 people. I do people. remember that. I think I gave you dirty look and was like, David. And you're like, no, no, me. Why would anybody fart in a submarine? David, you. <laughs> it's either that or is it church, one of the two. I can't remember. Oh my. <laughs> if you go to a church and it's loud, that's embarrassing. It's going to be quiet. It's so quiet. Oh. I would say a swimming pool and it's oh. bubbles up. Okay, we've it's all done that. that. Guys, it's a lot of <laughs> If you fart in the sheriff, I'm back at rain. Aromatherapy? In there. It's really bad. Especially if it's hot water, which yeah. is usually always a little bit. where Katie holds it. <laughs> Ty, where's the worst place you fart in? Probably also an elevator. Uh, you boys, why small places? Did you notice that the three boys did all tight and close? Hey, at least mine was under the ocean. <laughs> exactly. the water. I may have fish. just done one right now and like, nobody knows. Uh, Jacob, why did you just fart? <laughs> okay, speaking of submarines, Jake, would you rather live in a submarine oh, or David live in an airplane? Oh. The airplane has more room. Does you rather live in an airplane? Well, the submarine we went in was small, but they do make huge submarines yeah, with multi-levels. Yeah, nuclear submarine. I don't know, maybe nuclear. it's submarine. Because you want zero gravity planes. Which one? I would have to research. Oh, okay, David. An airplane or a submarine? Yeah. That's tough because they live, both would yeah. stink to live in. Your ears hurt. I would well, say dress, kind of. probably, I hate the ocean. So oh, it'd have to be. You hate the ocean. <laughs> Dude, I'm afraid of what lives in the ocean. So if anything ever happened <gasps> to that say. submarine. Since when? I've never noticed. He's never uh, said that ever. I've always been afraid of the ocean. That's why you don't see me in it very often. I'd have to say. Meanwhile, swim to sharks. Okay. Okay. Probably an airplane because every time you stop, then you just go somewhere new. Oh, half my airplane. thing just collapsed, so we're <laughs> dealing with that over here. Okay, we have two more questions. How long would you survive in a zombie apocalypse? How long? Not long? <laughs> I don't Why? know. I don't know. <laughs> okay, David, how long would you survive? I think I'd survive a pretty oh, good amount of time. Just pulled it. 
Just because I'd use my mad survival skills. And like, how, like, what are skills that you need for zombies? Like, right? hide and be quiet. To hide and be quiet? So I would Maybe like... Maybe stink a little? <laughs> <laughs> they smell you asshole. That's Back the problem, party. is they stink, so you're, they're going to stink worse than you. So you just got to be hiding and be quiet. So I'd have to use my stealth ninja skills. What about food and water? I, I'd probably... I, I would like to think I would survive a little while. Jake's just fully collapsed. We only have one more question after this, by the way, so... So I lost. Okay, Audrey? I think I'd be one of the last to go in this fam. The last? One of the last what to go. What makes you the best survivalist uh, in zombie? Well, I've watched zombie shows and had zombie nightmares. <laughs> We've I take karate. <laughs> I go to lost scare houses. Okay. You're not afraid of the zombies? Not afraid of them. Even though they haunt my dreams. <laughs> I think I'd probably live the longest. You think it's you? What? Either for No, he wouldn't, because he'd, he'd be like, I'm hungry, I need food. Nobody would be there to longest. give me food. No, yeah, I do get longest. hangry pretty fast. <laughs> First or second longest. Have you ever seen a ghost? Uh, kinda? I think- I wanna say yes. <laughs> because my room is haunted. <laughs> we say this because the door would always open. And, and hangers, always hangers literally flung at me. And then we said hangers in the night flung off the closet. No, door. just like, I was grabbing something out of my closet or I was going to it and all of a sudden hangers. Hangers flew off? Yeah. Okay. I went in this room like, what was that? Okay, David. So I've never seen like a ghost ghost, but like in your traditional like Casper the Friendly Ghost type thing. But there have been times where I have been visited by a spirit. And one of them, two of them are in this room. Ooh. Audrey visited me before she was born. So at least this is what I think happened. I was driving down the street with Katie. We were in the car. This is before Audrey was born. And we'd been talking about possibly having kids. And I was kind of a little bit more resistant. And I looked out the window and I looked off to the right. And Audrey was standing there on the sidewalk waiting to me. As a tiny girl. Look out the window yeah, she's a little girl. what do I see? She's probably like a three year old or a two year old. And I was like, did you see that Katie? And Katie didn't. I was like, there's uh, no girl there. I think Audrey's telling me it's time. It's <laughs> time. And Dan, Jordan knew visited that me. Our first kid was going to be a girl. Yeah, I knew. I, I knew my first was going to be a girl. And then Jordan visited me. And so I knew the next one was gonna be a girl, and then Jake visited me, and I knew I was gonna have a boy. Tyler never visited me. No. Tyler's like, oh. <laughs> Tyler's like yeah, whatever. <laughs> Ty just showed up. <laughs> I've never seen a ghost, but Spencer has seen a whole house disappear, so that's. You're gonna have to hear that story from him. Yeah. But you've had ghost experiences. Mm -hmm. just I love them. Oh, yeah, yeah. I love these cards so very, very it's much. Okay. These are the worst stacking cards in the world. Look at the stack in the. Okay, no. I've never seen a ghost. No, you haven't seen a ghost? Okay. Okay, so right now well, we have David oh, well, you're down. and Ty at level two. Wait, why are, why, why are some of your little so, cards shorter than others? Hey, I'm higher! Technically, I would say Ty won then. Okay, so I think that's about as tall as we're gonna get. Mine's taller because I'm stacked on top of multiple cards. Yours fell, and then I went back up, and then you brought it back up. This was that's horrible. Crazy. These are not very good stacking cards. It's very good. I difficult. thought for sure I'd be at least to here. Hey, yeah. I caught up. Yay, Jake yeah, caught up. Audrey's trying to catch up to yeah. her already, oh, already won. What happened? So, what question we answered surprised you the most? Was it me in the submarine? Or being visited by Audrey? <laughs> submarine. <laughs> Alright. Right, if you guys want to see another Q&A, leave your questions down below and we can use those. If not, I have a bunch more questions. Also, what should we do during our Q&A to make it kind of fun, like this tower building challenge? They'll make it hard to concentrate. Anyway, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.